Hello, this is William from Visual Components. In this video, I'm going to show you how to teach a robot comment and print statements. A comment statement allows you to leave a note or comment in the robot's program which is not executed during a simulation. It's just a way to document the robot's program. So if you're calling many subroutines or you're waiting or sending signals, you can leave yourself comments to kind of know how the program works when you check back later and work on it or share the program with somebody else. Now a print statement is a bit different it allows you to print a message to the output panel. And I'll give you an example now. Let's go and load a robot in the 3D world. I'll go to the eCatalog panel, and under Models by Type, I'll expand Robots, scroll down, click Visual Components, and I'll now add a generic articulate robot to the 3D world. Let's now program the robot, so I'll click the Program tab. And let's now have the robot go to some positions, so I'll use the Job tool here to move the robot down to this location. I'll add that as a point-to-point -point motion statement. And I'll leave myself a comment here, so I'll add a comment statement. And in the Statement Properties panel, what comment do I want to leave? Well, I'll say, robot finished moving, print feedback. And just like in programming languages, you can leave yourself as many comments as you want. Just make sure that you know they're clear, they're readable, and they make sense. So now let's add a print statement. And then what message do we want to print? We'll say, robot is done give me a new task. So the robot has finished moving, it needs something to do. So I'll print that to the output panel. And let's now reset and see how this works. So the robot motions down to P1. It then skips over this comment, it doesn't execute it. And then it goes to the print statement and notice here it prints the robot's name and the message. Now before I end the video, I want to give you a practical example of using comment and print statements. So I built a layout in the 3D world, which you can find a link to in the video description. And I've programmed this robot to pick a part that reaches this sensor and then place the part over here on this conveyor. If we check the program editor panel, you can notice my main routine is quite simple. I left myself a comment that says wait for part to reach sensor. And that's what this wait for binary input statement is referring to. I'm then calling a subroutine to pick that part and calling a subroutine to place that part. And I'm then printing feedback in the output panel that says the robot has picked and placed that part. So let's run the simulation to see how this works. So notice the feeder creates a cylinder, and the robot's just waiting for the cylinder to reach the sensor. Then the robot picks the part and places it on the other conveyor, and it prints feedback in the output panel that the robot has picked and placed that part. So let's stop the simulation. And what if we were to add more sensors and more conveyors and more robots to this layout? It might get a little bit more complicated, so we might need to add more comments to our robot program, print more feedback, but it all depends on you and how far you want to take this layout and make it more advanced. But this concludes the video. If you have any more questions, please feel free to visit our forum at forum.visualcomponents.com. And as always, have a wonderful day.